Question 20. Paula wants to find out how much money people spend buying CDs. She uses the question on the questionnaire. How much money do you spend buying CDs? 10 to 30 pound, 30 to 50 pound, 50 to 70 pound, more than 70. Write two things wrong with this question. Okay, imagine it's you and someone asked you that. And just say you were spending five pound a week on, uh, or like seven pound a week. You bought one CD a week, so you paid about seven pound a week. Which one would you tick? Okay, you couldn't. So the survey is a bad survey because there is no option for less than ten pounds. Okay. Now let me just say as well. Imagine you. Uh, spent £30 a week or £50 a week, okay, which box would you tick? If it's £30 a week, do you tick that box or that box? If it's £50 a week, do you tick that box or that box? It's hard to say. So there is overlap, overlap in categories. And you could say, for example, £30 and £50. Okay, two big problems with that survey that need correcting. Okay. Paula asks 100 people in a CD store to do her questionnaire. Her sample is biased, explain why. Now, she's wanting to find out how much money people spend on buying CDs and she's going inside a CD store. People are buying CDs in there, presumably. If she went outside, let's say, uh, I don't know, Asda, would it be the same sort of answer she'd be getting, okay? So the reason it's biased is because she is in she is in CD store and people more likely to buy CDs there question